Today we are discussing a form of discrimination that, as employment attorneys, we don't normally deal with. Uh, today's topic is source of income discrimination. This comes into play with renters who are approaching a landlord, a broker, a, uh, an owner of a building, who knows, and trying to secure an apartment to rent in this location. Many of these people are going to receive some or all of their funding from perhaps Section 8 or Social Security Disability or programs for the aid of uh, students or even programs that aid domestic violence victims, right? And many landlords, for a variety of misguided reasons, don't want to accept those funds. They might, they might think it lowers the value of their property. They might think that um, people from Section 8 destroy their property and, and, and create wear and tear on the, on the apartments. It's all nonsense, as we know. These programs are there to help people, to get them back on their feet. So what, what it comes down to is if you're, you or anyone you know is dealing with this, if you're seeing uh, brokers who the minute they find out that you're on Section 8 disappear on you, if you're seeing advertisements for apartments that read no Section 8 or even say no programs, all of that is illegal. That is within the bounds of New York City, strictly against the New York City human rights law. If you're experiencing any of that, give us a call. Hopefully we can steer you in the right direction. We're always happy to talk to you. We're always happy to schedule a consultation. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that someone created a program to help you, and now some ignorant landlord is trying to mess with you. But we are here to help. Good luck.